Alright, this video is going to go over how to add an image to my Brevard. So these can be very useful. Um, images can be used simply to show off something that is uh, interesting looking or they can even be used if you link them, which we're going to cover in another video, um, as a button of sorts. And you've probably seen that in various places on my Brevard these days where you see a big green or blue um, square and it's linked and so it sort of functions as a button. We're going to go ahead and add an image to this freeform content feature so let's click on the edit content option and let's edit this first element here. Once we are in our text editor and we're ready to add our image we're just going to click on the insert edit image icon. Once we do that it's going to ask us for the source. Now you're not going to need to go provide it with any source code. What you're going to want to do is actually click on the little magnifying glass that's uh, positioned over the file, the little icon to the right, and it will bring up your file manager. Now from here, if you've had images that you've used in other places on my Brevard, like you see all mine here, you can simply click on one of those and add that to another place in my Brevard. So you can reuse the images that you've uploaded throughout various places in my Brevard. Let's go ahead and add a new image to my test docs file. And I've got a PDF in here, but I want to go ahead and upload an image file. So that would be a JPEG or a PNG. And I've got an image right here. Um, so once I open up my local machine, I'm going to find the location. In this case, it was on my desktop under my test box file or folder. And here is the image that I've added for us to use. So it's a JPEG, and now once it's uploaded, I'll go ahead and select it. And this is a very large image, right? So we can see the dimensions here are way bigger than we want it to be. Um, generally, you probably want your images to be somewhere around 500 pixels. That's, that's still a pretty big image. So let's uh, use the dimensions tool here. If we type out the dimensions on the first box, and then we just tab over, you'll see that as long as the constrained proportions box is checked, your image will automatically resize and maintain the right proportion so that nothing gets skewed. It's uh, similar to if you're resizing the image and dragging it by the corners. It's doing the same thing here, but you're just telling it what size you want it to be in width. And then it will automatically resize everything else. So we always want to also make sure we include an image description. This is for people with visual disabilities. As long as we have an image description, they will be able to pick up the image using their screen reader software. So um, be very sure to add an image description. It's really important so that we can make sure our site is accessible for people with visual disabilities. So we're going to just go ahead and type out a brief description. Uh, if I can type Ridgeline Trail. Trail. Okay. There we go. Let's go ahead and click OK. And we will see our image show up here. And that's all there is to it. If we want to add another image, we can just position our cursor wherever we want the image to be and go through the same process and we'll be good to go. Let's click on Save. And there's our image. And if we exit, you'll see it show up on the page for everybody else.